when buying an SD card, there are a few different things you need to take into consideration. There's the capacity of the card, and this is important for storing your photos and videos, but there seem to be more and more letters and numbers appearing on them every day. You basically have two different speeds, your read speed and your write speed. The read speed is obviously how fast it'll read the information off the card. The write speed is how fast it'll put the data on the card. Manufacturers used to put the fastest speed on the card, which is the read speed. But this is a little bit misleading because the one that's really important to us photographers and videographers is the write speed. They also tended to put the peak speed on the cards as well. So say if it said 200 megabytes per second, this used to refer to your peak read speed. But now we have a few other things on the card that'll actually tell you what the write speed is. One of the other things that companies used to do was put megabits instead of megabytes. They are doing this less and less nowadays, but it's something that you should be aware of. Whenever there's a capital B, it means megabytes. Whenever there's a small b, it means megabits. There are eight megabits to every megabyte, so your megabits number is a lot higher. There's the basic SD, which is secure digital, and this has card capacities of 128 megabytes to two gigabytes. Then you have SDHC. This is secure digital high capacity. These have card capacities of four gigabytes to 32 gigabytes. Then you have SDXC, and these are secure digital extended capacity. These have card capacities of 64 gigabytes to two terabytes. And then you have SDUC, which are secure digital ultra capacity. And these have card capacities up to 128 terabytes. These are just different names given to SD cards as the capacities have increased and it probably comes down to a little bit of marketing as well. Next, we have UHS-1 and UHS-2. The difference between a UHS-1 card and a UHS-2 card is the layout of pins or connectors on the back of the card. UHS-2 cards are a lot faster, but to take advantage of this, you need a UHS-2 card slot, a little bit like on the A9, A7R3, or the A7III bottom slot. This is a UHS-2 card slot, and it will take advantage of these faster cards. However, if you have a camera that doesn't have a UHS-2 card slot, you can still take advantage of these cards by getting a UHS-2 card reader. This will give you faster download speeds. UHS-1 and UHS-2 has now been shortened to just one or two. So if you do have an I or two I's in a row on your card, this just relates to the UHS rating. One thing to note is that these are backward compatible. So if you have a UHS-2 card, it'll still work in a UHS-1 slot. You just won't take advantage of that extra speed. Now, when it comes to the speed classification of your SD card, there are a few different symbols you need to look out for. Speed classes tend to come in minimum write speed, and this is really important, especially if you're shooting things like 4K video. If your SD card has a minimum write speed that is lower than the output of your camera when you're filming, your camera will stop filming time and time again. And the classifications seem really complex, but they're not. They've just muddled it up a little bit and used different logos at different times. You have a C classification, a U classification, and a V classification. They all mean the same thing, but they've been written in different ways and they have different logos. The C system is a letter C with a number within it. The number refers to the megabytes per second write speed. So for example, C10 is 10 megabytes per second minimum write speed. C4 is four megabytes per second minimum write speed. The U speed is a letter U with a number within. These numbers need to be multiplied by 10 to get the megabytes per second write speed. So U1 is 10 megabytes per second. U3 is 30 megabytes per second. The V system is the letter V with a number next to it. The number is once again the actual megabytes per second rate. So V30 is 30 megabytes per second minimum write speed. And V90 is 90 megabytes per second minimum write speed. One other thing that they seem to do is put more than one of these classifications on the card. Now, if the numbers are different, you just want to take the highest number. So say, for instance, you have C10 and V30, go with the V30. Now, if all of that wasn't enough already, they've started introducing the A system as well. At the moment, there are two classifications, A1 and A2. This refers to the application performance class specification. 
It basically is talking about input output rates and it refers to mobile phones and the use of SD cards in mobile phones. So for us photographers, this really isn't relevant at the moment. If our cameras start using more and more applications, it might become relevant, but for now you can ignore the A class. So I hope I've cleared up everything about SD cards and everything that you need to know about SD cards. This video was gonna be a short one, but it turned out to be a mammoth one after all of the research. But I think I've covered everything with SD cards. If there's something that I've missed out or there's something else that you know about SD cards, leave a comment below. It'll be great to hear your thoughts. For more videos, subscribe and make sure you click the notification bell. Also, head over to my YouTube channel where I have a growing library of photography and videography tutorials. I'll see you next time.